Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the SH Monster Arts Little Godzilla and Crystal set. This particular release was originally released in June of 2012 and Little Godzilla is the last monster to be released from the movie Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. Now noticeably, Little Godzilla is definitely smaller than the other releases in the SH Monster Arts line so it definitely begs the question, does Little Godzilla live up to the idea of Monster Arts? First, let's take a look at the sculpt of Little Godzilla. As you can see here, as is the case with every other entry in the SH Monster Arts line, so much care and detail is put into this sculpt of this tiny little figure. You can see all the nooks and crannies on his abdomen, his chest here. You can see all on his arms and his legs and even on his dorsal plates. That just so much care was crafted into this tiny little thing. And it's not really noticeable here because of the lighting but the inside oh actually yes you can the inside of little Godzilla's mouth on the roof is sculpted in that is pretty amazing you can see that the nose is done really really well as are with the ears his eyebrows little bumps on his head they all look great and to go alongside of that the paint on little Godzilla is pretty favorable too Little Godzilla is, for the most part, entirely green. You can see on his chest area here and his stomach. It's a almost cream color. The lighting kind of throws it off a little bit. But to go along with this base dark green, you can see, yeah, showing up right on his arms here, that the high points of the bumps on Little Godzilla have this green wash over them. It does add to it though, in some places, let me find a good example, like in here, ah, I gotta get that to focus, there we go, in here, it can come off a little bit too much, but aside from that, there's really no problems with it, and to go along with that paint, the decals for Little Godzilla's eyes, let me see if I can zoom in here, to get a better look. They are big, and they are buggy. They are awesome. And uh, just a word of caution with them, they are decals, but I would not suggest picking at them. I have seen what that looks like, and it is not good. Don't do it. Just leave them be. We're tempted to pick at them. Dorsal plates? Um, hmm. You can sort of see here that the paint gets a little teeny tiny bit sloppy at the base. There's kind of like a solid blue there. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, but it can be a little bit of an eyesore if you're looking for it and it's kind of just popping up at you there. The paint on the dorsal plates overall, it's pretty good. You know, it looks, um, I guess you could say, chalky at some points, but it's white. It works on Little Godzilla. Overall, sculpt and paint, great. Alright, time for the fun part, articulation. Again, as usual, I will start from the head, going down to the feet, and Little Godzilla, up on the head, has one point of articulation. Uh, mouth. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Mine was really tight at first and I thought he was going to be closed mouth forever. And then one day it just kind of opened up. So got to play with it on yours a little bit. Nothing in the neck. Nothing at all. But going from there, shoulders. Like Big Daddy. He has a ball joint. No bicep swivel, but he does have a hinge in the elbow. And ball jointed hands. Pretty basic there. Little Godzilla also features a double ball joint system here for an ab crunch. There is a ball joint here and there's one underneath here. And you can get them both to work, and you can get a 
bunch of cool funky poses out of it. Twist them. Yeah, lots of squeaking, but it's been doing that since day one. Just be careful that this set of dorsal plates here doesn't push up against it too hard. Something might break. But, uh, oh, and there we go. That's the next part of the articulation. The thigh. Ball joint. And an interesting note, because he features articulation similar to Burning Godzilla, which I will review later. Little Godzilla's thighs can also be adjusted in the same way that Burning Godzilla's can. Huh. See, if you pull them down, it has a gap. Push it up, gap's gone. Just felt like pointing that out. Anyway, ball jointed thighs hips, I guess technically, and a hinge at the knee, and as you can also tell, these little feeties are ball jointed. Not doing too, too much there, but you can get them to sort of get ankle rocker effect, kind of, not really, because it's kind of hindered going out, but he can do something really cool that his dad can't. And I will show that. But, to end off the actual points, the tail. Normally you would think, ooh, cool. He has ball joints all throughout here, right? Because, I mean, all the other Godzillas have that, right? Just one ball joint. Right here. I mean, considering the tail is so small, you don't really need that much articulation, and it's not really preferred. This is totally fine for such a small little dude, but that's what's there. Anyway, little Godzilla can do this. He can sit. It's pretty cool. Sit in Godzilla. Yeah, so overall, articulation is great for this little guy. So how about those accessories that little Godzilla comes with? Well, you've been eyeing them the entire time. In the background. Little Godzilla comes with these crystals. Since the technical name for this release is Little Godzilla and Crystal Set. And for whatever reason, the camera doesn't want to focus on the ones that are in front. So we'll go with these. So, with Little Godzilla, you get two of these orange stage act bases. Nothing fancy about them. They're clear. They're like a dark orange, kind of sort of brown color, and you get four crystals. You get two big ones, as you can see in the back, two, and you get two little ones. And at the base, there is a standard little, I guess you could say, plug that fits into the stage act base, and they are, all four of them, articulated at the base. It's been around, but they pop out if you do that. Because circle into a not circle. Yeah. But what you can do with these, it's pretty cool. As I showed you earlier, Little Godzilla can sit. Make him do like a, oh no, so sad, pose. And you can make a little crystal timeout cage for little Godzilla. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. And uh, the crystals also go well with his big bad uncle. Space Godzilla. So yeah, overall, the accessories little Godzilla comes with are pretty cool. The only problem? The number. More. How do we get more of these? 
don't want to spend $42.99 again and again and again every time I want more crystals. I would like to kind of sort of army build with them and get a whole bunch more for big guy over here, but I guess that comes with the territory. So overall, the accessories for the Little Godzilla and Crystal set, pretty awesome. As you can see the sculpt here, they are transparent. So definitely worth the price of admission for these guys. Alrighty, so chances are if you're looking to get your hands on Little Godzilla, then you're probably going to have maybe one entry into the SH Monster Arts line so far. More than likely, his dad. Whoops. Godzilla. Back it up there for scale purposes. Little Godzilla scales really, really well with Godzilla, as you can see here. Yeah, they're both from the same movie, so naturally they would scale well together. But also to go alongside that, here is Space Godzilla. You can see much, much taller and more menacing. And then to go alongside that, here is, let me get them all in one shot here, Ogera. So you can see Space Godzilla is in the back. So overall, they scale really, 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 really well together. So if you're looking to make the full cast from Godzilla versus Space Godzilla, definitely a line to consider getting. Okay, so final thoughts on the Little Godzilla and Crystal set in the SH Monster Arts line. Well, for the price, he is kind of small but the detail is definitely not toned back at all the sculpt and the paint is still on par with the larger releases and definitely in terms of the accessories as I showed earlier it's worth it especially considering this little bugger is a Bandai Premium Web Shop Web exclusive meaning that there was only one production run in a made-to-order amount. So if you're not in the U.S., it's going to cost a pretty penny to get it because it's in limited quantities. However, if you are in the United States of America or another country supplied by Bluefin, he is a regular release. You can get him still on Amazon, slightly below MSRP. And I paid 33 I think it was, for this little guy. And yeah, he was worth the price. Definitely worth the price. Every once in a while, there's a sale that goes on. So if you're looking to pick this little dude up, I say go ahead and go for it because I'm not disappointed with him. Not in the least. Though he may be just a very, very small figure overall, slightly between 3 and 4 inches, he definitely holds a big place in my collection. See ya.